Well, hello, Kingsman. Welcome back to another Napoleonic Total War 3 battle. Today, we have the historical recreation of the Battle of Salamanca. Uh, this one is extremely historically accurate, I've been assured. Uh, we, we will see if it does actually do that. I mean, they even have, for historical accuracy, they have some Spanish troops positioned to block the French escape route, which is actually historically accurate. And uh, actually, in this battle, the French, the Spanish didn't really, they, I think they had like six losses or something like that. They, they, they didn't really take part in the battle, per se. Um, but yeah, it was a, historically, it was a huge defeat. I think like about, so like 12 to 14,000 French soldiers were killed. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't, it wasn't a great fight at all for the French. So we will see what happens today. Uh, we will see if the French can uh, take back the, the, what, the, the loss, make it a win this time. Um, but yeah, this one is a 4v4. You have a 8-pointer, a 11-pointer, and a 5-pointer, as well as the Spanish 5-pointer. I'm um, going up against, you know, a French force, which we don't really know the count of, but we can find that after the battle. Alright, we got some Lancers. Actually, very cool-looking uniforms here. So they're pushing up here. Um, their position is going to be one... That's going to obviously probably be assaulted. I mean, well, France seems to be pushing up. They're stretched along an entire front way over here. So, um, looks like they may be just pushing up for the attack. Both sides are advancing, I would assume. Uh, hopefully, this the French kind of stick together so as to not lose. But yeah, I mean, you see actually a lot more infantry than cavalry for the uh, coalition here, um, which could definitely be okay as they, you know, have a lot of squareables. They have a lot of stuff that could easily defeat enemy cav. I mean, they have some just maybe to scout here, and the uh, Spanish do have some scout scouting cavalry units. Um, they have that whole guerrilla faction that's pushed over to the right here and they're probably just going to push along the flank uh, we'll see what they will plan on doing here they're going to be uh, just taking out the right flank the UK is going to be amassing up in the center here I mean fast forward I don't know how, how uh, long it takes for them to actually engage but I mean look at this massive just Portuguese and UK troops like wow this is a lot of troops guys this is a lot and they are definitely oh hold that thought there is a trap being set here and these lancers are gonna commit here they're gonna get hit by some of the horse oh beautiful flanking charge by the cavalry here now the UK may lose their cat oh wow we got some heavies of France charging in here but we'll thankfully there'll be a flank from the King's German Legion Hussars and I think they will break the French cavalry both of them and uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a, a W in the very beginning for the first cab engagement. Yes, More hussars over here, facing off against the French cav. Let's see what they have. Dragoons, more dragoons. And fast forward once again here. So we are gonna. Oh wow, that's a lot of cav actually. So France seems to have quite the mass of cav. This is why you want to scout, guys. Like, look how much appeared once the hussars shifted forward. Um, looks like the five pointer. Uh, oh wow, what a beautiful position for the artillery, though. Wow. Did they just kill their own general? They shot their own gen. I don't know. They didn't kill him, obviously, but wow. Wow, wow. Okay, so France is gonna make their stand here on the sail. Looks like five, the five point. Uh, UK gonna maybe hold this flank and let Wellington steamroll up with the masses of UK troops here. Yeah, the other UK is still pushing up. Now walking over the dead bodies of all that cavalry. More cav engaging. Looks like actually Spain is the, the one that's not winning at the moment. And they uh, got so Rihanna, maybe, but they do have more like Cav hanging out behind the lines, maybe trying to go for a general. I don't think they're going to make it because the Cav's running over, but you know that this general, this is why you got to keep Cav by your artillery and by your general, guys. Always. Always. France is now panicking. You can almost hear the internal screams. 
So, our general is under attack. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be a close one. Oh, yeah, that was that, it, it almost worked. It almost worked, but I think these guys are hidden. So now, you know, France may be like, okay, cool. We dealt with those stinking gorillas. We're fine. What hap What is going on here? What is France doing? They're volleying their own troops. Uh, they had one infantry get hit pretty hard by the UK already. The UK is just kind of pushing forward here. You can see the formations kind of... They're just marching directly forward. They're pushing from this right flank. They're not allowing the French a chance to really form up here. And yeah. France is trying to get their artillery deployed. They need to... They need to start they need to start getting ready. They seem to be scared to want to get too close to the UK. I mean, it's not a bad thing to, you know, try to go in for melee. Um, just don't go directly at the UK. But the momentum of the French like the momentum of the UK is seems a little rough. And they're right in forming squares. Oh, the Hussar is gonna get charged off. Punish the French for pushing back. France is gonna form up with some of their light infantry here. Ooh, some Voltiers of a sort. Now, they are not going to do well against the shooting of the UK. Um, and look at this. France has an entire flank just... The UK are poised to just push this whole flank. Let's see, they have um, all the vein openers. Good. But yeah, they're going to try to flank this hill. The UK is going to kind of just sit here in the hill. Maybe take a little damage here. Oh, we have more French Cav charging in against the... Not French Cav, sorry. UK Cav charging in against the French line. Oh, they are getting shot, though, by the flanking line infantry. Man, France is... If you look at the overall view here, the UK are just pushing directly in. France need, has, like, this... It's like they're they're bending like a bowl here, and they they're like they're way up here. They're bending like a bowl. They really need to they need to figure something out. They need to have some counterattack ready. Have some cav even. I mean, yes, it is a square. I'm surprised they aren't even trying to get some of their melee capable units up to even just charge in against the UK with some cav to force them into a square and then charge them. So they can't just stand in a line and shoot because the UK are just getting obliterated. I mean, gosh, I keep getting my factions mixed up. The French are getting obliterated here. They are not even stopping to even shoot. They are just falling back constantly. The UK able to get a shot off. Let's see. The 94th foot. They need a bayonet charge. Look at this. France is dropping faster. The officer just dropped. All right, they're going to break. Good grief. This is turning into a very historical uh, uh, battle. A very historical battle. The general needs to fall back. I mean, France is just caving in. They are trying to form up. Artillery trying to force pack the UK. They gotta stay in fight. I mean, they're, they're just so disorganized. It's not helping them. But honestly, they're reloading just terrible and you can see they are just dropping so fast the fast rate of fire in the UK now France does have some troops there pushing forward um, so we'll, we'll see what they uh, plan on doing over on this side they're falling back as well I mean they I, I it feels like the French don't know what to do at this point right now um, they're trying to counterattack here, but that means that this whole army has to stay put because this whole side's going to get outflanked here. Oh, do we have French troops going in for bayonet charge potentially? Nope, UK is closing in for melee. As this line is going to continue to get shredded here, the French have a huge line over here, but there's nothing facing it. They need to collapse it in. They need to get some mass up here in the center here. And we have some cavalry charging in here. Try to close in with melee and try to counterattack here, but I don't think they seem to be really doing it. I mean, the UK just keep pushing up on the flank, just volleying them. There's a mass route here. 
France is just in one long line here with nothing really facing them. As long as UK keeps this push up, it's going to be over for the French. There's Cav pushing up to attack here. France needs to just charge in to get deal with this full attack. Because this is going very fast. This is going very fast. There's a lot of there's a lot of reserves that can just throw themselves forward. France looks like they went with the cab charge. Of course, UK forming a square. The of fatigues are a must restaurant. They're gonna charge him with more bits. This is just a mess here. Looks like France may be trying to form up in a line here, but the center, they need to commit some reserves here. Alright, so they beat back one or two units of the UK, but France is just breaking a lot faster than uh, they're inflicting. They're not inflicting a whole lot of losses for how many troops they seem to be losing here. Uh, their center looks pretty shaky. They should bayonet charge here. Like, like go in because you're just gonna get shot in the face. Damn. All right, that's that's good. See, and then push another unit forward here. Start going around. Don't attack head on with the UK. When it comes to bayonet charge, it's not gonna work. Or on this side, I mean, okay, we have some cavalry here against the French. That's a juicy charge, but they're probably gonna lose that cavalry here. Like I said, guys, this is turning to be very historically accurate. The French are just getting totally destroyed here. And unfortunately, oh, see, see, this, this, this is what's happening here. Let me, let me, let me break it down here. So France has spanned themselves along an entire front, and the UK are literally right here. Basically, they're right here only. So France has all these reserves, all these troops that could be attacking the UK. But instead, they are stretched along a whole line here, and they're facing nothing. Um, and that is that is the problem for the French, and that's why you have to just scout, and you have to be where the enemy is. Don't just camp areas that, you know, just because it's a hill that looks cool, though, doesn't mean you need to sit on it. You know. Because the enemy definitely, if they're smart, they won't attack it. France is now throwing up more reserves here. We seem to be getting just outtasked here when it comes to the multitasking at this point. It's a furious battle, and yeah, the French have broken over here. I mean, man, they're just getting chewed up here. This is why I don't play the UK, guys. The UK is just, it's, it's, uh, it's a much easier faction to play. Um, definitely a much easier faction to play. Their shooting is really good. Unless, you know, the enemy knows how to defeat you, which can be a little tough sometimes, especially if you're very aggressive in the UK. It's hard to even try to get a flank on the French on the UK. France is put running away from about six line infantry of the UK here. And they have another whole line we here. Their generals eh. now they must break. Maybe the, maybe it's a bit of a newer player, and they just are being more intimidated. But don't let the enemy intimidate you. Um, in this case, they are definitely being intimidated. They are running to a hill to uh, kind of defend themselves. When they should have been pushing the flank of the UK. Imagine if they had tried caving that flank. Maybe it wouldn't have worked still. Who knows? Spanish aren't even in a set in a position to like defeat the UK that are you know pushing back. It's a route. And as you can see, the French center is broken. They have a flank here. Um, and at this point I think they have chalked it up to their allies dead, so they're just gonna hold this hill. Um Something I predict, let's see, what, what the, the UK is probably just going to focus on one side, whether that's this side, whether that's right in the center. I mean, I guess they could push all their troops up and just get into line fight. It's a small enough French army, they don't need to, but I don't see any French reserves. You don't want to mass up all your troops in one long line. Um, you want to, I mean, look how, look how the coalition is moving their troops. 
I mean, they have they have them in groups. They are just stringing them out in one long line, and that's how you usually want to play. And with the French basically totally in uh, fleeing, these battles with are pretty fast, guys. I mean, it's been going for about 15 minutes. Good grief. I'm not gonna have a very long video today. Get some grasshoppers pushing up here. They're gonna try to maybe snipe the uh, artillery position. And it seems like the uh, UK are going to rest up the troops behind this hill. That would not surprise me if they're just going to rest them a bit. They're probably very tired. Some of them are. Or active. And some of these other tired. Um, and then they're going to wait to finish up the rest of this French army and then go over to uh, deal with that one French army all by themselves. Yes, sir. So again, the Spanish are being historically accurate too. They're, they're cutting off the French reinforcements. <laughs> if anything, guys, this is artistic. Oh, look at this. So the UK are gonna single-handedly try to defeat this army. And look at this. France isn't even adjusting to this. They are quite literally standing in one long line. Don't do that. You like shift your reserves over. I mean, artillery is focusing on them, so this could hurt. Um, the UK army, but the rest of this whole army is just kind of standing here. Um, this, that, that's a little, little too passive here. And they're gonna charge in against some squares. Which is gonna hurt quite a lot. And break a very large unit of dragoons. UK here just because that artillery piece I guarantee you these Hussars are gonna try to deal with it though if they charge from like right here up there's no line of shit that can get them well, there's cab that will probably counter charge here we got some dragoons friendly fire here which actually probably will break those Hussars Fast forward a little bit here. Uh, let's see what the uh, UK is going to do. Oh, now they're going to have the general advance. With all the troops here. Yeah, if you're newer, I would recommend trying that out in the UK. Definitely. Um, very fun faction, especially if you're newer to the game. You have a excellent, um, excellent shooting troops. And they can hold the line now, of course, like I said, in melee, especially if you get flanked, it's going to be over just like any other faction. You have to just have troops poised to react to a flank. Um, oh, oh, this is just going to be a murder. This is like the Alamo of France, and there's not even a fort. Let's see what they can do. The artillery is probably not going to actually be able to really get a good angle on the on the UK here. I mean, this hill is going to be in the way, and they can't move at this point. But we will watch the last stand of this French army here. The UK 
troops are going to push forward and get ready to fire and engage the French line. They're taking some losses here, but once they start pouring in some volleys, it should equalize. Now, France could do more damage as long as they stand still and don't keep adjusting the line. I mean, they, they got a flank coming. These guys are going to form square. France is going to probably charge into that square. And... Can't, you can't ban that charge to the, the UK. <laughs> I mean, you can't cap charge the UK. Yes, Just not gonna work. More caps charging it. I mean, they may have actually caught some of the troops. Our men are running. And, uh, you know, out of square just because they stretch the line. Okay, what? That is a bit of a pull through here, good sir, France. That is, that is definitely, that is definitely pushing through a lot of troops here. They have a square up here in the front. But it's not going to save them um, at all. And France is just going to break so fast. And uh, yeah, I know I usually do very, very, I like having showcasing very even games. But you know, historically realistic a game to historical accuracy can be fun sometimes. I feel like it didn't take, I don't think it was done this fast, the actual battle, but maybe it was. But you see the UK are just going to just punch a hole through and then start caving the flank of France. Um, France is going to start crumbling here. Their artillery is in, now in jeopardy. They have units sitting over on this far side. Let's have some cavalry charging in here. We have some kitties trying to hold off. Clinging to this hill for survival here. The man of fatigue, sir, a must rest of But nothing's gonna stop that UK from advancing on you. And it's gonna be over. Pretty soon here, actually. The, the Spanish are pushing up here. And uh yeah, this will be about a 30-minute battle when it's all said and done, I suspect. But yep, well played by the coalition, just being very aggressive. Um, getting those successive Balls, especially in the very beginning, man. We got a beta charge pushing in here. They are going to take the top of this hill. The vein opener is going to help out the old bucks. And you notice there's not a lot of cap for the coalition. They didn't even need it. And this whole line, there are no red lining here along the entire board here. The men of the team are a must rest of And yeah, this line here, I gotta turn that back off. And that'll be GG's. I think there is a couple scattered units here they're gonna deal with, but I uh, may skip to the end results, guys, in this battle. And yes, Salamonica, historically accurate. Heavy losses on the French side. Um, I don't know, historically accurate, actually, I know the uh, French made a counterattack halfway through the day in the center, but I mean, Wellington had pushed up some reserves, like some Portuguese and other units as reserves, and kind of beat back any counterattack by the French. So, yeah, if you're a fan of historical accuracy, this is the video for you. I'm going to fast forward here as this looks like some of this Imperial Guard is going to push over here. We've got some Chessers. I'm uh, going to bravely meet their end. Yes, another cavalry unit just gonna hit a square. The man of fatigue, sir, and must rest a while. And that'll be the battle, guys. So, uh, yeah, a very decisive victory. And like I was saying before, I don't usually do those, but you know, every once in a while, why not? You know, give respect to someone when they do a good play. And uh, our men are running, sir. 
shred up the enemy. And that should be the battle, I think. That should be the battle. Once his general dies, that'll be it. A glorious Santa Monica, is guys. Is soon to be yours. <laughs> Oh, is there is there wait is there troops left here? Who's oh there's some in the way way back. Line up in the way way back. There we go. All right, that'll be the end of this. And like I said, this one was uh, semi map bob, I believe. Quite a quite a decisive victory. I mean, wow! Look at the the losses and kills on both sides here so you know decisive historically accurate battle let's see the stats here good lord wellington didn't get any kills though come on let wellington have some fun no just kidding no but that that is uh the battle for today guys um i'm trying to clean up the last of my ntw3 9.1 replays so i'll be switching 9.2 for streams and all that soon enough i think um but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, battle. Like I said, sorry it was short. Sorry it was uh, maybe a decisive victory. You didn't get the edge of your seat fight. Um, but I'll have more of those coming up here. Got some more good replays. So uh, that's about it for me for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.